I get when the fans boo, when your team's playing really poorly and you're frustrated. I get it. And to me, uh, you know, if it's unwarranted, I would say okay. You know, the the relentless abuse, I, I don't buy into that. Booing, hey, that's just part of it, right? You can't say that the fans pay their price, pay the money for the tickets, and then you, they're not. Jake Gardner oh. was not very good. They, they have every right. They have every <laughs> yeah. right to boo, Craig. I guess my question is, what's the upside? Do you, it, it, do you, do you, you think know what it is? It's a release of emotions. Right. And, and sports is about emotion. Right. And if we try to say, what's the upside? Well, what's the upside of any emotion? It's emotional. Right. And everybody stands in front of this. Well, hey, they, they, people in front of their TV screens are screaming, hey, I, I, can't, I can't believe the coach is doing that. That's the emotion of sports. So when a fan boos, it's emotion. The relentless part, there's no upside. Right. I don't like that. Hey, listen, Brian Burke said he fired Ron Wilson because of the relentless booing. He couldn't bring him back. He couldn't because the, because the I mean because yeah, they the, said fire the coach right you know so yeah. so now, in, I get that, case, that they did that now, now when, when you boo the coach that doesn't bother me because the players probably hate him too so that's fine <laughs> but when you boo a player like I'm telling you I, I stuck around after the game last night and I saw I saw you know Morgan Riley afterwards he was pissed about what about the booing of Gardner. Well, you know what? Like, here's I mean, what your, I think. That's your team. Like, like it, I, Steve, hey, I, I get that there's a, a like, you can be, dis, what's he disappointed at? I said it last night on Sports Center. I'll say it again here. Jake Gardner's a capable defenseman. Yeah. He's shown the ability to be a very good defenseman in this league. He didn't play very good last night. Yep. You know how you fix it? Play better. Yeah. It's as simple as that. But and what do you expect teammates to do? To come out and say, you know what? Bottom line is, I get it. The bottom line is, pull up your socks, Jake, and get your game in order. Because it's not somebody asking you to do something you can't do. Right. I, I guess the, the point is, for me, is that when it's relentless like that, when it's – now, it, this goes back to Game 7 against Boston. It goes back a long way with Gardner. He's been around longer than any player on the team. He's played more games, I think, than any – Kirby. They were cheering yeah, Gardner, Gardner in Game Seven because it was in Boston. Gardner and Kadri, <laughs> me here. Yeah. So, but yeah, th- because you're right. Those, like Gardner, was also the one out on the ice with Dion Phaneuf back in that 2012-13 series against Boston, where yeah. they gave it up in overtime. Uh, part of Salute Gate, part of you know last year. So yes, he's he's been a part of a lot of so, things with this team. So, so I guess what I'm saying is, and, and, and Ray Ferraro made the great point last night. I, I said. You know, I said I don't get this. Like, what are they hoping to accomplish? And Ray said, I don't think they're really thinking it through. They're just, they're just they're, emotion. It's, it's yeah. emotion. But, but my point is, okay, so, so what, what's the end game for this? Is it going to make Jake Gardner play better? No. Is it going to help if you want him traded? Is this going to help? No. It's going to devalue him on the trade market. Um, Only if you let it devalue you. Well. I mean, it's like selling stock, a, a really valuable company, when the stock market goes down. Yeah, you can sell it when the price is down. Doesn't mean you made a good move. Right. You, it's your choice. But Kyle Dubas are, says that if he wants to sell him, at a, if he did, I'm not saying, I'm yeah. not suggesting that. That's your choice. But, but Craig, they're a better team with him than without him. And, and, and I've Bab- said that all the way and through. And Mike Babcock said it last night. They're a better team with Jake Gardner than without him. And, and for all the warts that that he has, and I mean, I don't know that he makes more mistakes than anyone else he, he makes more visible mistakes he also makes more 100 foot passes than almost anyone else so i i, I get it i have seen the, you know the, the last perfect player retired in 99 and by the way i saw him play lots of lousy games too so you know like it's a frustration like you yeah. know what i personally i think there's much ado about nothing the fans were frustrated with the way the team played the right team won last night they outplayed the toronto maple Leafs from the get-go to your point gord Jake Gardner had a bad game on Saturday night. He followed it up with another bad game. You know what? The fans get frustrated, mm-hmm. right? Yep. They, they, they didn't abuse him. They didn't call him names and everything. They booed. Okay? And that's part of pro sports. And you accept that going in. And for Jake Gardner, he's capable. He's a good defenseman. He's shown he's a good defenseman. I took issue with Mitch Marner after the game when he said people don't recognize him. That's a bunch of garbage too, Mitch, because lots of people know how good he was. He didn't play good last night. He didn't play good. Mm-hmm. Play better and that everything. And that's the way it is. And that's sports. And let's stop crying about the fans booing. That goes for everybody. And I I understand the emotion at games, and I completely agree that, you know, what fans like to say is, I paid my ticket, I'm there. So you have a right to boo, you have a right to cheer. Absolutely you do. What absolutely bothers me, though, is that, and we've had this conversation so many times. Now you're taking it to social media. I mean, if you look at his Instagram page now, some of the things that people were saying. Now, mind you, he had a lot of people coming to his defense, too. But when you take it away from the game, when you take it away from the arena, when you take it away from the ice, 
you can call it what you want to call it to make yourself feel better if you're one of these people who take to social media. But at the end of the day, you're harassing and you're bullying. And that I don't like. Well, you want to say you paid a ticket and you have a right to boo? That's fine. You don't have a right to follow him home because that's what you do. No, no. But when now on. he has to look only at his if, phone. Only if he allows it to happen. Only Again. I would prefer, if you're frustrated, then go on Instagram, go on Twitter, go on message boards, um, you know, phone into the post-game show, do what you want. When you boo in the arena, he can't get away from that. If, if a player allows his Instagram account or his Twitter feed or Facebook to get to him, that's his fault. Because you shouldn't be, a, you shouldn't be looking at that stuff. We say that, but it's so you tempting. Should, you should not. You should, well, I tell you what, the good players that I know don't do it. Sidney Crosby doesn't have social media. Oh, I, I'm of like, the like, belief just, athletes in some ways should well, get rid of it. You know what? Like it's, I don't care what an athlete does. I don't care if an athlete's on social media or not. Okay, bottom line, to your point, bullying, we saw it with Maxim Comtois. Absolutely wrong. Absolutely yeah. crosses the line, and that is not should never be tolerated, right? Yeah. But like, let's separate it clearly here. Online bullying, cyber bullying mm-hmm. is a completely different story than fans booing out of frustration and disappointment and emotion in a game. It's no big deal, and I think everybody needs mm-hmm. to get over it. And all Jake Gardner has to do, under his control, under his full control, play better. Right, but he's if you're capable of playing, but, but if you're a Leaf fan and you're at the game and you, you presumably you're you, you're cheering for them, you want them to be great. Um, how much are you helping that by heaping abuse on someone? I don't think that's abuse, Gord. I, I don't think okay. booing is abuse. Okay. So I'm I'm, I'm going to stand up for that. I, right and there. I, by the way, it's by the a way, booing. I'm, you know when I get mad at my wife and I and I get upset at her and I say to you, I I can't believe that you would do something like that. I can't believe whatever you say. Doesn't mean I love her any less. That means I was mad at her, yeah. right? And and then you resolve it. The bottom line is, it wasn't relentless. It wasn't abusive. It wasn't mean. They expressed some emotions because Jake Gardner was subpar, and he's capable of far more.